Today on my Yuma, Arizona adventure, we went to the Arizona Outdoor Market. It's pretty awesome. Check this out. <laughs> yes, we're filming. We're headed to... Filming on your phone? Oh, your app's on your phone. Yep. Where are we headed to, Terry? We're going to the market. Outdoor market. Yeah. Open air market. Yeah, I uh, already got video there driving down the road. So I thought you'd want to see our smiling faces. You ready? Smile the camera. Smile. Okay, you've seen them. Don't say you haven't. Uh, you're looking at G. Rathbun and American RV Nomads. Yep, he's uh, putting his videos on so fast you can't keep up with him. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. I just haven't found anything to put on there without boring people. Yeah, I don't care if I bore them. Yeah, well. Uh, you can tell by the videos I put on there. Aren't you guys bored? No, I know Candace isn't, and she said she wasn't. Well, I want to get a drone and uh, do aerial shots for people instead of uh, the driving down the highway. That will be cool. We'll put them together then. Then we'll have a we'll we'll kick everybody's butt then. I got another guy on there who follows me quite regularly. Phil. He's a great. He's a. I think he's a biker. Anyway, he's sitting on one of his pictures. Of course, he could have rented that bike. Did you rent that bike, Phil? Yeah, we'll find out. Anyway, we're going to go check out the market. Today's Sunday the... 21st. 21st. It's a cool day in, or in Yuma today. It's 48 degrees right now. Yeah. There you, you can see what we're doing there. Even look at that. Ain't that just cool? Oh, that's just cool. Well, traffic is, uh, as you would expect, it's like a RV Sturgis. said that before. But the difference is the people here don't drive like the people in Sturgis. They drive like the old people we are. They are. So, on down the road we go. And uh, we'll film a little bit when we get in there. But we're we're going to go buy stuff we don't need with money we don't have. Exactly. Because neither neither one of us have our women. Well, I don't know if you can see the girl, the girl and boy in the back. Harlow's sitting down there. Where's Hank at? Where you at, Hank? Hank? Hank, where you at? Stick your head around here. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's afraid of Harlow. <laughs> he ain't moving. He's intimidated. Yeah, he don't. He don't. He don't like women dogs. I don't think he like boy dogs either. I don't yeah, know. I think he's gay. He could be. Got his got him clipped way too soon. Anyway, I say anyway a lot. Hope you get used to it. So, uh, I'm gonna pause it right here. Put a break in right here. And next thing you see, we'll be there at, uh, how far is it, Market? Oh, it's all the way out to 4 East. And so we're on uh, 14 right now, foothills. So 10 blocks. I can tell you right there. Six miles, five miles. Left okay. turn in 1.9 miles. Now I'm gonna have to listen to her. San Diego I West. Oh, it says 11 miles. 11.8 miles from where we are now. We'll start filming again. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Like I said, anyway, bye. Well, we turned off the freeway on exit 7. And the market is right up here. To my left. We'll just turn on the other camera here. So you can see the road where we turn. In case you're ever out here looking for it, they'll be able to find it. Terry's trying to find me medication on the on his phone. He's just a good boy. Good old friend. I'm driving the truck today. First time in, since I got here due to my sciatic nerve problem. Got to get this fixed up. Got to go home see the old lady and bring her back. So I'm working on it. She thinks I'm just staying down here having fun. I wouldn't do that. Would I? No, I wouldn't do that. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is over there. Or east. May have to edit this. I thought I was a mile closer than I was. Airport's right straight ahead of us too, isn't it? Yes. 
and the airbase. 32nd Street goes all the way to downtown. Yeah. It's the front it's the frontage road and it turns into everything. It'll take you there. If you don't want to get on the freeway, it'll get you wherever you want to go. Right here to my left, we're getting ready to uh, after the light. Probably see over there to the left a little uh, orange stand over there. That's where I got my oranges and, and uh, grapefruits and what was them other things? Orangey oranges. I don't know what they were. They got cherries. You wouldn't believe the prices. I got a big bag of everything for three bucks. Of course, they ain't gonna last long if uh, they don't sell them. So they gotta get. Yeah, get rid of them. They got plenty of stuff down here. Well, those little oranges you had, like eating Sour Patch Kids, <laughs> puckered me up. Puckered? He said puckered. Puckered. Puckered him up. Ah. Okay, don't get old me. And full of seeds. Yeah, don't be, don't be, uh, don't be shaming on me now there, YouTube. He said puckered. With like a P. With a P. Yeah, I've had some of my videos down here that are totally G-rated. Grabbed by YouTube. I don't know. I follow the guidelines. This is also the road that uh, you can find. Walmart. Is that Big Al's? Walmart is back at 8 East. Yeah, back behind us. What was that other one there? That RV place. Al's RV? Uh, there's a number of them. Wally. Wally's. Wally World. Yeah. Lots of stuff down there. Of course, Wally World's here in the open air market, also. Yeah, yeah. Didn't realize it was the same place. Thought I was getting a good deal, then I find out I'm paying the same as if I was at their store. Okay, we're going to turn in here, then I'm going to shut all this off, and we'll be probably bouncing around with and the. This is known as Arizona Marketplace. They have live music. You can dance. You can. Have, they have a beer garden. They have a couple vendors that uh, offer hamburgers, french fries, onion rings, you name it. Uh, you can get just about everything you want out here. Spend a whole day. They've got or uh, more. Two one, days. two, three, four, five, six, seven covered buildings uh, over the top and then the vendors are inside as you can see probably. You can spend a better part of a couple hours just walking up and down all of them. Oh, and yeah. looking yeah and that's, then if you want to hang out at the uh, food court and listen to the music and dance and have a beer you can do that too and spend an afternoon out here yeah and we're just looking for a space to park right now so you don't want to watch that i wouldn't so we'll uh see you. well we're inside there's wally's world we told you about that we're looking for some ginger chews. We thought they may have some in one of these places. They do not. So we will continue on down the rest of these deals. Malls, walls, whatever. You ready to go, Hank? We'll go on down there then. Okay. I didn't take many videos in there, so here's some slideshow for you. My Hank, my friend. He likes to go styling. You can rent these little scooters there if you want. If you need some help walking around, I almost rented one. You can get solar parts there. You can get RV parts. You can get your name put on a piece of wood. I even bought me some covers to go on my RV steps. I love the way they make them here. They ain't got them little springs. They have flag shops. You can buy uh, all kinds of things to hang from the Raptors of your RV, metal trinkets, drones, helicopters, gadgets of all kinds. $5 hats, $4 hats, sunglasses, and well, you get what you pay for, but it's cheap stuff and you pay cheap. But the wood is nice. It's all hand carved by somebody somewhere, but it also is expensive. You ain't getting that for five bucks. You got little things for your phones, doodads for just about everything. T-shirts galore, little things made out of tin that are all awesome also. They do some great work down there, the craftsmen. They got food courts, 
of all types, hamburgers, uh, kettle corn. I got some kettle corn. We were there later than this picture. There was a guy singing on that stage, people dancing and drinking, having a great time. We had a great time, too. I hope you enjoyed these few snapshots I took. I didn't take many videos. Yes, I'm buying one of these. We've heard lots of things about these on the internet, and this man said they're guaranteed. <laughs> well, we used to guarantee them, but uh, we never had anybody bring them back. So we just them. Yeah, I don't need to guarantee them if that good. What's the, what's the name of your business here? I'm going to put this on YouTube for you. Salt Lamps International. Salt Lamps International. And we're in the Yuma Mall. Uh, Arizona Market. Arizona Market. And he's down here at the end by the food court, right across from the popcorn. Come and see him. What's that? End of B row. End of B row. Come and see him. I'm buying one for my wife. Well, we're going to have to give up the Harleys now because we found something we can plug into <laughs> solar. Come on, sing it. Get no yeah. It's like riding a rigid. <laughs> Get your motor running. Come on, sing it. You can do it. Oops. That's pretty cool. I like those bikes. I'm parked right there. And uh, we're at the big market here. I didn't want to carry my good camera in there, so we're just doing this on the phone. Most of this will be snapshots because they play music in there, and you all know they copyright you if you have any music in the background. But if you want anything... You can think of. They got it in there. I bought me some uh, steps for my RV and some vegetables. I took pictures of those for cheap and big and fresh right out of the right off the farm. Right down there. Look at the size of these radishes. Those are some big radishes. See you when we get back.